yes, are you ready? Oh, yeah. I'm just so addicted, can't leave it alone. Y'all talking in the streets, boy, to take over. Hey, man, it's every Friday. Shout out to what's up, man? Hey, man, you know what's up, man? Every Friday, we're about to be off for the rest of the week, baby. F it. F did y'all bet 10 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Miss Sonica, let me tell them something, man. If they think they're smarter than Young Jock today, they can contest me for the chance to win a $50 gas card courtesy of Attorney Adana. Shout out to coming up with the crazy report. Hi. Hey, man, we got a lot more coming up. Keep it locked. Young Jock in the streets morning. Take over. What's poppin'? Pop, poppin'? We are now live on your radio. All right, you tuned in with us right now. Young Jock in the streets morning. Take over. Miss Sonica got to hit y'all with the biggest thing happening today. What up, Shy? All right, let's get right into it. Kevin McCarthy denounced for giving January 6th tapes to Fox News hosts. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy has given Fox News producers access to all of the U.S. Capitol security footage from the January 6th insurrection. That's according to multiple sources, including Fox. Fox, of course, the news organization that knowingly pushed lies about the 2020 election, repeatedly promoted on its airways, as revealed in a rather damning court filing last week that quoted Fox executives and hosts at length, bemoaning the lies they needed to share to get viewers. Well, mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. well, we're going to see what happens with this whole debacle right here. Yeah. This January 6th thing just keeps going on and on and on. Yeah, they released them papers because they know Trump about to start back running for president and he may win. Well, it's kind of looking that way. That is the biggest thing happening today. I'm Miss Shanika. Shout out, shout out, coming up with that crazy report yep. at the 25. Keep it locked in right here with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Good morning and thank you for joining us as we take you around the streets in 90 seconds. Harvey Weinstein sentenced to 16 years. Disgraced movie mogul Harvey Weinstein has been sentenced to an additional 16 years in prison. Weinstein is already serving 23 years for his conviction in a New York rape case. He pled not guilty in both trials. Talking about riding out. Boy, that's a long time. In other news. Marion Williamson confirms she will run for presidency in 2024. This is exactly what George Washington warned us about, becoming more about the party, more about the faction than about America. We should be talking about what's happening in this country. We should be talking about the fact that whether it's Joe Biden or any of the other corporatist Democrats, all we're talking about is staying within the box of a neoliberal establishment. That's on the political side of things now. When we're talking about health, the flu shot has been provided uh, substantial protection this season, says the CDC. This new data from the CDC shows that the flu vaccine is actually performing well. Overall, the shot was about 54% effective in preventing people ages 65 years old and younger from going to the doctor or the hospital. Just looking at kids alone, it was about 71% effective in preventing symptomatic disease. And data from the last two decades shows that this year's vaccine performed above average. That's good to hear. All right. Thank you for joining us as we have taken you around the streets in 90 seconds. Shout out, shout out, coming up with the crazy report. Yeah, yeah. Boy, that's a fresh hoodie you got on, my boy. Oh, yeah, man. Yo, it's the craziest story you'll hear all morning. The crazy report is on right now. Shout it, shout it, run it down. Yeah, run it down is what we're about to do, man. That's what this police did. They ran down the wrong, man, for eating the chips that the barber 
took out the store, y'all. Huh? Yes, a man uh, was looked for for robbing the store, but he didn't actually rob the store of the beer. He put the beer down and grabbed the whole rack of chips and ran out the door. But that ain't who the police locked up. When the man ran out the door with the rack of chips, he dropped a whole bunch of chips on the ground, and another man picked them up. Take a listen. A chip display disappears from the Circle K in Parkway Village when a man walks out of the store with it and hundreds of bags of chips. In this security video, you can see him taking it to his car, but it is the man who walks out after him and picks up a couple of bags that fell on the ground who ended up in jail. 36-year-old Joseph Braswell was arrested on one count of theft of less than $1,000 after Memphis police say he ate two bags of chips worth less than $5 that someone else stole from the store. When officers arrived, they say they found Braswell across the street with crumbs on his face. Yes, crumbs <laughs> on his face. Police walked up to me, hey man, did you eat them chips? He said, no, nah, I ain't eat them, I ate them. He said, how do you spell it? He said, E T, <laughs> and that's crazy. And you know I know crazy because I'm crazy. And crazy knows crazy. He said he got them chips off the block. Judge said, "Yeah, now you a chip off the wholesale block." Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gotta get into these national days. Nah, bro. I gotta say something. About this. He needed to go to jail for eating chips that he found on the ground. <laughs> But I mean, if go the, to jail. If the bag still got all, I the don't give it. a damn. I don't care. In today's time, you okay? You find a piece of candy on the ground or a bag of candy, you go eat it because it's closed. If you hungry outside, no, no, the no, no. They call them on surveillance after the fact. When they went and looked at the surveillance, they say, "Look at that little bum be on the side of the store, walk up and grab them two bags of chips, yeah, and walk away like we ain't finna go lock his ass up." And they did wow. just that. Mm. National day. National Tortilla Chip Day. What a coincidence. Wow. National oh. Fish Fry Day. Yeah. Mm. I'm looking for a good fish fry. That's what she said. <laughs> National <laughs> Twin Peaks Day. Hey. Hey, that's, that's like what she said. Stand up. Stand up. <laughs> Celebrity birthdays. It's Pisces season. Good people. Yeah. Happy birthday to the boy, Floyd Mayweather. What up, Jack? Yeah, happy birthday to... Man, help me say the man's name, Miss Shanika. The, the guy who played in Get Out. Daniel Kaluuya? Yeah, yeah, him. Happy birthday, my boy. And happy birthday to Eddie Murphy. Yo. Is it Murphy or Murray? Okay, I thought it was a typo. It's love. It's love good people made. And who? We don't know him, Eddie but Murray. happy birthday to you. Eddie Murray. Hey, man. Y'all make sure. Eddie you. Murray. It was Eddie Murray. I just thought it was Murphy. All right. Keep <laughs> hey. it locked. Y'all jocking the streets more than take over. What up, y'all? It's your boy, Jeremiah. Put it down on me. Every weekday from 6 to 10 a.m., I'm listening to Young Jack and Streets Morning Takeover. Thank you for joining us this morning. Young Jack and the Streets Morning Takeover. Good morning, Miss Shanika. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Shouty Shouty. Good morning, my brother. Man, we got to talk about this. Just when you thought sentences could be no longer, R. Kelly has been sentenced to an additional 20 years for child sex crimes. The Grammy award-winning singer-songwriter sentenced to 20 years for child pornography and enticing a minor, a case possible, after victims came forward. A federal judge issued the sentence after hearing from three of Kelly's victims. An attorney representing the woman known as Jane read her statement. During the trial, jurors saw three videos of Jane, then a teenager, and Kelly involved in sexual activity. I think it's very clear that there have been multiple victims associated with R. Kelly. And when you deal with minor children, I don't think anyone is going to draw a conclusion that a child in any way could have brought this on themselves. Boy, it gets really, really real out here, man. Yeah. It's sickening. You. you said in the beginning we thought that it couldn't be no more time. Yes, 30 years plus these 20. No, I'm saying, just, you know, it's just like. He's a really sick man. I get it. I can't would never see freedom again. As he shouldn't. He is a sick man. And I just wish early on, um, you know, just from uh, watching and reading his early on story, you know, with him growing up and him being abused himself by people in his family and trusted adults i just wish that he would have been treated sooner and he wouldn't have been able to affect so many lives as he has so it's just really a, a tragic case of you know a, a genius in one light and a predator in another light who has destroyed a lot of people's lives mm -hmm. so you know it's crazy. boy when it couldn't get no more real huh 
Well, what you got coming up, Miss Shot Nigga? Let's talk about what you got coming up. Well, coming up, I Jesus. got some word on the streets mm. news. Master P out here owing people money. So. Uh. Yeah, Jab. Hey, Master P also, Boosie is talking about accepting his gay daughter and is gonna going to leave YSL. All that and more <laughs> on the way in less than 10 minutes. The mics are on and ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, word on the streets, she be bopping, I need more. Word on the streets, screaming by like on a moped. Word on the streets, I get it popping like a blackhead. Word on the streets, going down like Jock said. It's Young Jock in the streets morning takeover with Miss Shanika. You heard what the man said, Miss Shanika. And that is me. What's that that is I, and that is what I'm doing. All right, so Master P. Got called out because he owed Jess Hilarious some money. Mm. You know, at first I, I wasn't going to give it any energy at all. But then I said, go ahead, because now this is a back and forth situation. So first she accused Master P of not paying her her money on I Got the Hook Up too, And Master P then said it wasn't like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, basically, I did pay her her money. I got the receipts. You know, they're trying to sensationalize this story. Sensationalize. Excuse me, I had something in my mouth. Sensationalize Ooh. this story. Shut up, Jody. <laughs> <laughs> this story. <laughs> and now, Jess Larry's had to set the record straight once again. You think out of everybody out there right now, I'm going to come after you for clickbait and fake headlines. I don't have to do that, sir. Now, he playing around with me because I never said second check. It was money paid up front, mm-hmm. and then it was supposed to have been another 15000 I didn't get the other half of my money. Stop playing with me like this was check one, check two. No. Well, well, well. Okay. Moving right along. Now, the word on the street is that Gunna is reportedly leaving YSL. Yep. Mm-hmm. They said that he is in mm-hmm. talks with Atlantic for a new deal situation. Now, this is alleged. And it's just the word on the street. But I would think that if the label that you're associated with is being considered... um is in court due to a Rico and considered to be a gang and not a record label. I think that the first order of business is to get to get a reputable uh, brand or a record label situation, right? Well, depending on the situation. I mean, if it's people set in place at uh, YSL, that can... There are several people that said that this was a gang and not a record label. I mean, that's... But he was the first. But they have proven that they are a record label. But he was the first. When you said trend off, you said it. He uh-huh. said it. And that he did. Booty is talking about accepting his daughter as gay. Our family is a real Southern Baptist family. So I have got a respect for her family and, and everything for what she does. Her coming out at this age is, that's when you know what you want. You know, we're going to love her to death. But at the same time. Our Southern family, it, it, it's never been that way. You know, it's never been accepted. It's never, we got our preacher, grandfather, grandmother. But at the same time, she grown. She can do what the hell she wants. I wonder what his holy art than thou family thought about when he sick a grown woman on his teenage son. I, I wonder if they had an opinion about that. Anyway, um, Tootie and King have, in the midst of all this controversy going on, released a trailer for a collab. Crucial 808. <laughs> hey, 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 got down. Look and talk and we flicks on the ground. Yo, little bitch, I had home to count. Let's go. Hop in the vid and then hop in the lounge. Um, King, you could have just put it out on your own. You don't need to, bro. I just want to tell you that. That is Word on Street mm. News. I am Miss Shanika. You guys can follow me at Miss Shanika and follow us at Streets Morning Takeover. Wow, Miss Shanika. I can't believe you went there today. Wow. I'm lying. I, you definitely go there every day. <laughs> hey, it's Effie Friday. Yeah. What we doing today, Shouty? Man, we peeling the top back, baby. <laughs> if it means forget about it. What you not taking into the weekend, Miss Shanika? Oh, my God. When they was trying to play tricks on me at the mechanic shop when I was getting my mama light fixed, still mm. light fixed in the back that I crushed. Yes, I was babysitting my mama car. <laughs> 
backed it up, hit the light in our parking oh. deck. And so they told me one price on the phone for the light and the um and how much it was to put the part on. And then when I got there, they tried to change it. Was Uh-oh. it because I'm me? Has anybody tried to change the price on you at any time and you want to talk about it? Here's the time. Wow. It's Epic Fridays. We're not taking it to the weekend, all right? Keep it right here where you got it. one 866 yung That number's one 866 986 Young Jack in the streets morning. Take over. Yes, sir. Young Jack in the streets morning. Take over. It's the top of the hour, man. Thank you for waking up with us. All right, it's the F Friday. F it stands for forget about it. Um, so Miss Shanika was telling the story where somebody changed the price on her. They did, and me and my cousin cussed they ass out. Ooh, man, I <laughs> had to. You, I had to go to court about it one time. Hmm? What? Man, guy does my car, my Rover. I said, man, you know, since we're going to do some business together, don't even worry about it. I said, no, nah, no, nah, just tell me what it's going to cost because I want some TVs. Some, you know, it was around that time of my life. And he said, no, 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 we good, we good. I said, all right. It took him about three months to do it. Got my truck back. I was like, ooh, this is hard. Mm. But I was like, man, this looks expensive. I was like, you sure, man? He's like, nah, man, we're doing business together. This, this is going to be marketing for me. I, we be brothers now. I'm like, bet. So one day I realized it just wasn't going to work out with us doing business together. There was other things that I just, it was just unforeseen and I knew it wasn't going to work. Wow. I look up and I get an invoice mm. for mm. $30,000. Oh. And if I don't pay it by a certain day, we go into court. Well, we ended up in court. They ended up charging 60000 because they wanted 30000 oh, for Lord. the attorney fee. Yep. No. Oh. I swear to God. And what you have you have to pay that? No, nah, we went to, we, it was time for deliberation. Went to the back. The folks that came out and said, I right, well the judge said, before I go back, y'all get a chance to uh y'all, you know, mediate. Negotiate, yeah. Y'all mediate. So the dude came out and was like, Well, what can we do? I was like, Well, y'all clearly see y'all lost. Man, was he American? He was. And I and, and, and let me tell you how it was so crazy, Michelle Nigga. Uh-huh. I said, I said, <laughs> We good. I already know we won. But I said, you know what? Let's just cut it. What, what you want? What you want to do? They said, "Man, can we get them at least twenty five hundred? I said, "We'll do twenty five Wow! Guess what? Good thing I wasn't arrogant. We settled out for twenty five hundred. Came back. I hadn't lost the case. <laughs> now imagine if I said no, I'd have been out of sixty racks. Wow! So I'm not taking that into the weekend because I was thinking about it as you was telling me your story. Y'all call us up if oh, you got wow. a story like that for every Friday. One eight six six nine eight six four five six two. Can't wait to hear from you, Young Jack in the streets. Morning, take over. Young Jock in the streets morning to take over. It's a beautiful effing Friday. What you trying to forget about it? Somebody overcharged you and changed the price. Somebody changed the price on you. Talk about it. Absolutely. I called for someone to come and stain my deck. I gave them the exact measurement of the deck. They gave me one price. And I'm the mom of a celebrity, so, but I won't mention any name. Right. So when they got to the house and got to the gate and the guards let them in and called me and I went outside and they saw the house and all of that, all of a sudden, it was this exuberant amount of money. Like, wait a minute, I gave you the measurement of the deck and everything, and now you want to add a whole nother $2,000 on the price? Me oh, that's because they see your house. Yeah. Me, me Dale, why you didn't you get Walker Flocker to pay for that? I, I'm not Miss Deb. Okay? <laughs> Thank you for your call. <laughs> Young Jack in the streets morning to take over. It's Epic Fridays. Tell us about yes, the time somebody sir. changed the price on you. And you don't want to take yes, it into the weekend. Sir. This is lucky luck. I ain't taking this in the weekend. I ain't get my fifty dollar gas card. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn lucky luck. They ain't tell you you got thirty days to claim your prize. No, no, they ain't tell me all that. You should won four days ago, man. Hey, lucky luck. It was just three days ago. Hey, lucky luck. You remember all that junk you were talking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Hey, no, look, man. Best, they gonna get it. They gonna get you straight, bro. Yeah, cross your fingers. <laughs> do yourself. Wish for luck. Yeah, like you can do it all by yourself. Let me see you do it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Oh, my, oh my goodness. Okay. Look, look, we got you, man. And whoever mama that was, I'm I'm sorry. That no. wasn't me. You that said- was them saying that.
But it could have been anybody, Mama. It could have been Mama we still, D. We still won't try. That was not Mama D. <laughs> it could have been Mama so Jones. First of all, she would have introduced herself as Mama D. Okay? Could have been Frankie. <laughs> Frankie is dead. You going to hell? Rest in peace, Frank. He was Frank, he, he was Frank his name. Of that. He didn't. Rest in peace, Frank. Frank. He was the name of him. You didn't mean it like that. Well, I Don't take it like that. Please. Hey man, it y'all. Could have been job, mama. It definitely could have been her. <laughs> Miss Vicky, gonna, you know what she gonna do to you? I know. Tell Miss Shelly to be up that bitch in my name. Keep my name out your mouth. Here go, Miss Vicky. If I come over to Jack House. Oh, here she go. Here she go. <laughs> oh, they're talking about me on the radio again. Hey, man, y'all know it's time for the date. Dilemma, baby. one 866 yun G J O C $100 on the line for you. Hey. If we could get you right, all right? Make sure you stick around for more Young Jock in the Streets more than take over. No matter what I do, all I think you got you are now listening to The Date Dilemma with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. If you got a dilemma, they got a dilemma, which means we have a dilemma. It's The Date Dilemma. Who's on the line this morning? Hey, good morning, y'all. This is Trish. How you doing, Trish? Trish. Good morning. You know, I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm just I'm just a little concerned about my man, so I need y'all advice. Uh-oh. What's going on, Trish? Talk to him. So, me and my boo, we've been together for a year. Mm-hmm. You know, we finally took that big jump a couple of months ago to move in. Mm-hmm. Things are going great. But the last two nights, he has not come home. And I'm like, should I report him as missing? Or is there another woman involved? Like, mm-hmm. I'm just trying to figure out what to do before I get too dramatic over here. You said two months? He's been not home for two nights, but we've been living oh. together for two months. Oh, yeah, not okay. <laughs> Uh, is this a first? Is this a new behavior? It is definitely new behavior. Typically, mm. he's like clockwork. He is home. Were well, you supposed to call the police 24 hours ago? <laughs> you must know something we don't. I mean... Mm, well, yeah, what's, what's suspicious about... Any uh, type of woman say, on? I mean... I mean, it's like, you know, we did go out the other night, and he didn't say anything about it, but, you know, I could tell his face he wasn't too happy. Because mm. his boys, we went out with his boys, we had a good time like we do, spending our money, you know, do, doing what we do in the city. And I was just letting them know how I have assisted with improving his life. Mm-hmm. You did You what? know, like, I've introduced him to some people, got his coins up. Mm. You know, got got his look together. You took and credit so, for his success in front of his friends? I told the truth in front of his friends. Okay, so you do uh. understand that that's a job for your man to do, for mm. him to brag on you. Why did you feel like you needed to be um, patted on the back? That's, you know, it's just kind of narcissistic. I want to consider it narcissistic because if he had been on his job and telling his friends, then maybe I wouldn't have done it. He's running from you. That's what he is. He's still running. He never stopped from two days ago. He's <laughs> oh still God. working. So I don't do it like that. He that might man be, might be doing in Kansas something. right now. He might got something else going on, but I doubt it. Okay, now outside of just knowing where he's at, what is it that you want? You want? Yeah. Are, are, are y'all broke up because of this? No, or? we. We, I mean, I need to, you know, I need some more information. Like, I'm making my assumptions over here. I would like to hear from him. What, what's his name? His name is Isaac. Isaac. Okay, Trish, we're going to try to get Isaac on the phone. Let's see if we can figure out why he hasn't come home in two days. All right. I put your phone on mute. Yeah. You know the worst thing you could do what? in a relationship is make your um, significant other's okay. friends dislike you. Oh. When they friends or family don't like you, it's all well, down. Well, sometimes you can't help it because sometimes they friends and family be haters. Hello. Good morning. Let's speak to Isaac, please. Yeah, this is Isaac. Who's speaking? Isaac. Boy, what's happening? What's going on? Who this? I know you're trying to figure it out. Isaac, you got some family on the phone right now. You got young job, Miss Shanika, and Shouty Shouty. What they do, man? You all right? Oh, yeah. What's going on? What's up? What's up? What's up? Man, we cool. And look, so Isaac, we got a segment on the show called The Date Dilemma, my boy. And I believe that you're having a dilemma right now. Uh, I don't know now. Yeah, Isaac, we talked to your girlfriend. And Isaac, she said for the last couple of days, there have been no haze. You have been no, not at home. <laughs> she been flexing. I'm tired of doing all that flex. I need to go with somebody to appreciate me. Oh, okay. What kind Ooh. of flex has she been doing? Ooh, Isaac got mad. Don't get me wrong, my girl be helping me out, but she taking credit for a little bit too much right now. She just making it seem like my whole life in her hands. I really don't like it. Yeah, I've been in that yeah, position. Like, I don't like that. She ain't she she not telling the fact that she got a car because of me. I co signed for it. I, listen, I, I drive a nine eight hundred, bro. I co signed for she can get a new car. She drive a twenty twenty two right now and I'm still driving in the old car. She ain't telling people that though. Tell us some of the things she says about you. Cause she she kinda told she said some things in front of your friends. What's some of the same things that she's taking credit for on your behalf? I mean, we went out in front of my friends, and she just get the showboat at the table in the, in the middle of the, the event, just 
oh, oh, cousin me, you know, he, he got his 750 credit score, and cousin me, he got that new job, and if it wasn't for me, he wouldn't have an apartment to stay in. He had these kids stand on the couch with his brother. Like, I don't like it. So was they looking at you like you ain't had your woman and chick? Yeah, because she was just running off at the mouth too much. They laughing all at me at the table. I mean, I, don't, I, I was kind of embarrassed. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was. All right, well, we, we just want to make you aware of this, man. She's on the phone. So she heard everything you said, and I think she has a better understanding of why you haven't been home in a few nights. Trish, you there? I'm here. I just don't, Isaac, I, first of all, why wouldn't you just say any of that to me? Like, just not coming home, that, that's your solution to the problem? Anytime I try to talk to you, it's, it's always an over-talking battle with you. I can never mm. get a point across. Mm. You, you, I, I can't even believe that you even had the call to do this. Only thing you got to do is listen in the first place. You wouldn't even have to be here. Okay, so we here because of me. Exactly. <laughs> you, you, the whole reason. Everything here. else been because of you. Go on and take credit yeah. for this, too, now. <laughs> You, want your you know what? <laughs> no, because no, it's not so one side. And now you got these people laughing like it's funny. It ain't funny. No, no, no. We, we not, we not laughing at you. Uh, no, we laughing at her. We laughing at you. Y'all, y'all are, y'all are. I, I see. No, no, no. Here's I see, the thing. I see it's on everybody's eyes excited today. Here's the thing. Sometimes in relationships, when it's just y'all two, it's so serious. And, that, and, and it makes things so fragile. It breaks so easy. Mm-hmm. So we like that case on your cell phone. When it fall, we keep your screen from shattering. Yeah. So laughter is okay sometimes. We try to soften the blow. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Okay. So Isaac, what do you, what, what do you want to do then? <laughs> First of all, I need a woman that's going to appreciate me. Mm-hmm. Uh, all that back talking and, and, and doing all that showboating. Like, what are you trying to prove to these people? Sometimes I just don't feel like you appreciate what I do. So you going to go drag him in front of his friends? Woo! And I tell you, I do all the time. I'm telling you now. In that car, we possess, I'm, how, how you take that if you think that's funny when you walk them back? Well, you, wait a minute. Hold on. We, we didn't even got to the point because we was going to ask you, you know, that's the reason of us calling you, Isaac. You know, your lady wants to know, you know, why you didn't come home and if you guys can rectify this so we don't have these problems anymore. I, I want to reconcile. I, I, I can't even sit here and lie to y'all and, and make it seem like I don't love my girl, but it has to be changed, mm. man. Do. So let's let her know what we ain't doing in 2023 and, and beyond. Okay, in 2023, we ain't going around telling our friends, each other beds, you're not sharing our issues outside the house, especially at the outing and dinner table. Give me another one. Give us another one. All that showboating and, and making it seem like, listen, we're a team. It's not no I and team. It's we. I, I feel like you need to adopt that in your vocabulary and we. Because lately it's just been you, you, you. We're going to celebrate each other, but we're not bragging about it. Mm. So, Trish, with all that being said, are you willing to let him be the man you built? I'm willing to do whatever he asks for because I love my man. I want him to come mm. back home. Mm. Oh, right, dude. That is. Hey, man, congratulations, Isaac and Trish. I'm going to have a 1-800-Injured-The-Bethune law firm. Y'all will pick up $100, man. We definitely want to take the time to say congratulations again yes. to our listeners. Call us up. Let's talk about this day. Dilemma 1-866-986-4562. Keep it locked. Young Jock in the streets morning. Take over. That was the date dilemma with Young Jock in the streets morning. Take over. You know... She's trying to find out why her man ain't been home two nights. Well, basically, we got on the phone with Isaac. He says, man, Shawty is always doing the most. She's always telling people she's the reason for his everything. If mm-hmm. he get a new shirt, you know I'm the one that picked that shirt out. Or I'm the one that... I, I paid the taxes on it, too. I, you know you know the new job he got? Yep. Yeah. I know the manager. I got him the job. Like, she's always doing the absolute most. Yeah. And uh, he's just tired of it. She said some stuff in front of his friends. Which really, really pissed him off. Yeah. Like, I can see that. I can see yes, because it's, it's like little boy and your man. You know what I mean? What is she? Yeah. You, your man or she your mama? What is it? Or am I your science project? You know, hey, build, build me up if I can leave with all that money. Yeah, you won't treat me bad. You ain't got to tell everybody how we got to today. You ain't got to tell everybody this your Mercedes. I'm trying to tell you, man. What's y'all thoughts on this day dilemma? Isaac, don't do it. Don't go back home. Man, she like P. Diddy. She, she <laughs> want to be all up in the video. She want all the producer credit. Like Miss Shanika said, she narcissistic, man. No, don't do it, Isaac. Don't do it. Thanks don't do it. Face ass. Yo, Jack in the streets want to take over about this day dilemma. Man, I think she did it right. You know what I'm saying? Like, go back to your man. Due to the fact that he's trying to be there for her, he just don't want to be shamed. Like, so I really feel where both of them coming from. I really do applaud her for being the one and standing beside him. You know, respecting his wishes. Young Jack in the streets want to take over talking about this day dilemma. Hey, Doc. I think that that guy needs to leave that girl. She is so manly. He needs to take his name off of her vehicle. And she is like the reason why so many black men don't want to get married. <laughs> yeah, she over there remote controlling. Yeah, I don't like that. That's so wrong. 
Hey, it be like that, man. You know, sometimes you just got to have that talk, man. You know what I'm saying, Southern? Yeah, be like, I'm your man, not your son. Yeah, sometimes, y'all, you know, everybody don't want you. some credit you don't you don't boast about. See, you don't brag he about. supposed to have that talk. He supposed to be like, I know you filled out that PPP loan uh, application, but I still own my name, so I'm going to pay for it. Yeah, I, I really feel that. Listen, though, if y'all feel like you're smarter than Young Jock, Here's what we gonna do right now, man. Cause somebody think they can get this fifty dollars out of me today, Sean. Mm-hmm. You think they can? Um, I don't know. I'm not on Friday. One eight six six Y U N G J O C. That number's one eight six six nine eight six four five six two. I'm looking for a good challenge. Somebody to contest me and get this fifty up out of us. Where you at? It's courtesy of Attorney Adonis. Look here, man. We got you. One eight six six Y U N G J O C. Stick around for more. Young Jock in the streets. Morning, take over. Young Jock in the streets morning takeover. You know how we get down, man. We stay busy. Miss y'all nigga and shout to man. You may have seen on Empire, BMF, and this morning we have the beautiful singer and actress, Soraya. Good morning, Soraya. How you doing this morning? Good morning. I'm great. How are you? Man, we good. What brings you up here to the 12th floor? <laughs> <laughs> I'm dropping new music, and I'm really excited. My new single just came out, Love or Die. Mm. Yeah, it's an Afro Beats record with uh, Village Boy Prince Word. from Africa. Yeah. I've been on TV for a number of years, and so... How that's... many years has it been now? Oh, it's gosh. been some time. It's been some time. It's it's We rolling around maybe... Nine yes. years. Oh, wow. That's how I feel. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the other day someone called me an OG and I was like, excuse me? No, congratulations <laughs> on all of That's your cool, success. Yeah. That I, is funny. Yeah. I actually get a pleasure <laughs> every time it. I see you like pop up on a show. I'm like, yes, girl, <laughs> keep working because it's not as easy as everybody thinks that right. it is. Didn't you tell me you got a new movie out on Tubi? Yes. You uh-huh. Can't get right. And the reason I brought that up, because I saw that you have a movie uh, on Tubi as well. Mm-hmm. This is a new movie, Best Friend. Can we talk about that? We can. Let's get into it. Give us give us, give us, us the insight. What's going on with this movie? So, <laughs> so Best Friend is a thriller, and it's about an overprotective best friend from a relationship with a girl and her guy best friend. Mm-hmm. Oh. So her guy best friend is very overprotective mm-hmm. over her and who she dates and things like that. Mm. Protecting her from not making great choices in the past. So he feels justified for her. She, someone dies. Yeah. <laughs> and so who do you play so in the very, movie? So I play the, the girl best friend. Um, and. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. No, no, no. I'm the just, girl I'm best friend. She's the girl best friend. Okay. Yeah, what's your name? Oh, I'm so. I'm no, like, you good. No, no, you, nothing happened because we were thinking you're the girlfriend. Oh but no! You're crazy girl best best friend. Friend? Yes. So oh. I'm trying to date someone that he is not. Oh, it's yeah. a guy. It's a guy. Um, it's me, Marcus Houston, Blue, Chris Stokes, produced, mm-hmm. directed. Yeah. Shouts out to Chris. Yeah. Shouts out to Marcus Houston. You know, to continuously be blessed over and over again, but to keep your face card clean. Oh, yeah. yes. Also that. <laughs> like we ain't seen you. I don't think. Have we seen any, any scandals? No. 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 That's. Oh man. I know, right? Yeah. A decade and no scandals. Scandal scandal yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> So, no, but yeah, I was saying that I'm, I'm dropping more music, you know, I want to do more live shows and all that type of stuff, and we're gearing up to have a, a really hot summer. I'm excited. What attracted you to the Afrobeats movement? I mean, I mean, everything, I love right? it, it, but... just, it just feels good. Like, I love a bunch of the Afro Afrobeats artists. It just feels good, and I, lo- I love to dance and perform, so right. it just makes sense. You got the record. Yeah. <laughs> you got the record. Yeah. Transcending from Empire. You ever keep in touch with any of the old, yes... Tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> um, you know what? I actually seen Jesse not too long ago and Taraji. So I said what's up to them. I haven't spoke spoke to Yaz probably since yeah, right. season. Well, um why that is. I mean, we just we didn't really speak in general. Like Real? not like that. Yeah, we're, they were cool. working together. We're cool, but it was just work, you know. But you know, I hope that he's doing better in his situation because you know it's a lot going on. But I do keep up with a lot of the people from the show. So, so how the whole smut thing? I ain't got nothing to do. I don't know. 
She is scandal free. She is scandal free. We are not going to do that. He's trying to put you in that box. He's going to have to answer to her daddy, I think. Just go any further. Um, speaking of your singles, we have a song of yours. You do. That we would love to play. Would you go ahead and introduce your song? Yes. Okay. So, what's up? It's Soraya, and this is my new single, Love or Die, featuring Village Boy Prince. I see you, yeah. The way you whine, you take your time. The way you find, it blew my mind. It blew my mind. From your love, I did hide you From the morning till the night, you Fly out just to die, no This is love, we not gonna die, you See me love, we not gonna die, you This is love, we not gonna hide, you I go kill it, I go fight, too This is love, we not gonna die, you You say you love me more Fly me out just to buy me dinner You promised me diamonds and pearls Baby boy, I know what you into I know you gon' your favorite cousin young jock in the streets morning takeover turn your radio up all right we back at it if you just tuning in so Ray is in the building man the new single what's the new the name of the record again love or die love or die no sorry you was over here, over here thrusting your hips it, it, made your wanna, it made me want to gyrate <laughs> <I did. laughs> that's a word man you know and it, you said it, it makes you feel like you're driving from where to who it's like you you know when you come in coming off a late night but you gotta be to the airport early and mm-hmm. it's really hot and you gotta talk down and you hear it from South Beach here to Fort Lauderdale Airport yeah. and straight up 95 and you be playing that right there. Just- See, he saw he painted the whole picture. It's a vibe. I'm there. I'm like, oh, I like it. And then your house started blowing. Your house is <laughs> <started blowing. laughs> like magically blowing. So we want to play a game with you. You know what okay. I'm saying? Um, you know, we, we do realize you got a single POV, right? Yes. Point of view. What's your point of view on posting your significant other on social media? So my POV on that, I love it. I love love. So mm. I'm kind of like that person. Personally, I like to take my time before posting. Reason being, you just want to make sure that like <laughs> everybody going to speculate something, you know, and right. then like if you with this person and then six months later you with somebody else, even though the time difference may make sense to you, I don't know. It just gives room for people to really just insert themselves into what you got going on. Yeah, Damn. I would say that they don't give <laughs> women grace to date. You know, I, 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 I really agree. think that it's totally unfair. I agree. Now, photoed out is different, right? Because right? you can't always control that. Right. But on my page or like stepping out with, with you on a red carpet, I don't know. For me personally, I, I just need you to be my man. Like, Don't worry exactly. about it. Yeah. yeah. So we go to the next one. Rest in peace to the great Virgil Abloh. Yes. Uh, what's your POV uh, point of view of on Pharrell taking over the men's wear for Louis Vuitton? I love seeing any of us in spaces like that, especially in a space to create for what the new trend is going to be. And then also, Furrow's sickening. I'm excited for him. That's actually the first time I heard that. So I want to ask you for any up-and-coming talent. You said that you have a lot of artist friends. What is some good, solid advice that you could give people that might feel like, oh, this ain't working for me. I don't know what to do. What would you say for them to do? So this is like kind of like my basic motto that I've developed myself. And when you feel like that, for me, there's either you keep going or you quit. And like, are you going to quit? So that's the thing, because it's like you don't know. You don't know when it's going to happen, where it's going to come from. And so the only thing that keeps me is I'm not a quitter. No, that's right. Man, resilient. I love it. I love it. So here you are, actress, right? Now singer. Right, um, but on your extra side, it's, it's film and TV. Well, I could say movies, big screen and TV. What's the difference in the processes? TV and film is very much so a locked in deal. Like I know a lot of my artist friends that came to Empire did an episode or a song or something, mm-hmm. and they they seen the process. They're like, "Girl, I don't know how you do that." Shout out to Breeze. 
Yeah, like this is <laughs> completely different. Seven was on Seven Streeter mm-hmm. was on the show mm-hmm. too. Wow. Girl, I have so much respect for you. Like, I did not know this is how because it it can twelve hour days are normal. We can go over that, and right there just proves like whatever you did the night before. Right, more on a straight and narrow path as far as the, the discipline, discipline, yes. yeah. right, and getting ready for the day and for the role and things like that. Whereas music, I feel like you just in your vibe, like whatever you who you are and whatever that essence is, you bring that everywhere. Yeah, That's the difference between Jock's musical persona and his day job morning job because when he's a rock star at night <laughs> he can't come in and perform quite <laughs> as effectively Whoa. as he does the you night know? before being a rock star so, be hitting in the morning? so you definitely so you said be hitting it right in the morning no she put the nail right on the head like for real <laughs> Because that's the difference. So, Soraya, what so do you Soraya. have that we can look forward to? We know you have a movie that is on TV. Yep. And I obviously, I just released my song yesterday. Mm-hmm. It's dropped. Good. And Wu-Tang's on. You can catch me on Wu-Tang, BMS. Yes. Hey. So I've been, Everywhere. I've been, so you're on I've been working. Yeah. That's crazy. I haven't seen it yet. But I have seen the clip with the, the dude playing Busta Rhymes. I didn't see that clip, but he's a nice guy. I didn't see it though. Oh, you you are so politically. I mean, oh no, God. he is a really nice person, but I didn't see his you work because I'm in like I came in episode one, then I came back in four. Okay, like, and when you're doing more like guest appearances, they don't give you every script. Yeah, they nah, give definitely. you what you in. Yeah. So I really have to watch it. I didn't know if you saw it. Was kind of viral. Mm-hmm. Just gonna have to work on it a little bit. Gonna have to work on it a little bit. But no, nah, we want to definitely take the time to say, man, we 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 happy you here. Um, we're gonna be making some new reels. On um, IG soon with your song. What's the single again? Ever Die. Hey, man. Again, if you're just yeah. tuning in, that's the one, the only <laughs> Soraya. She's in the building. New movies out. The new movie, Best Friend. You can check that out. Starting alongside Marcus Houston. The new single, One More Time, because it's really jamming. I'm rocking with it. Yes. Love or Die. It's out Love right die. now. Love or Die. Y'all make sure y'all go download that. Do some TikToks and all that to that, man. And, and, and tag her, too. She yeah, says she, she say she'll repost. I will. I will repost that. And, well, I'm, and I'm going to do the dance, too. Man, we want to say thank you again. Continue success and blessings, family, man. Uh, beautiful spirit. Great thank energy. You. Light up a room, man. We appreciate you again, ladies and gentlemen. Soraya's in the building. Make sure y'all stick around for more Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Are you smarter than Young Jock? Only when Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. What's your name? Where you calling from? This is Kelly. I'm calling from Louisville. Oh, snap. What up, Luba? Hey, Kelly. You think you're smarter than Young Jock, baby? Oh, I know I'm smarter than Young Jock. Oh, here we go. Here we go, Miss Shotnika. What we doing? All right. So, here are the rules. You have 10 seconds to answer each question. The first person to get all three questions correctly will be the winner. You guys cannot answer each other's questions, and you cannot answer the question after your 10 seconds is up. All right? Sounds good. All right, Kelly. We're going to start with you first. All right. This is a riddle. Take off my skin. I won't cry, but you will. What am I? Take off my skin. Is it an onion? All right, you are correct. Okay, first one. Young Jack, what gets bigger the more you take away? <laughs> Ooh, a hole. The more, you, the more dirt you take away from the earth. All right, you're correct. Uh, Kelly, I make two people out of one. What am I? I make two people out of what? Out of one. What am I? Three. Two. One. Uh, uh, um, a mom. <laughs> <laughs> that is incorrect. Young John. Yeah. I make two people out of one. What am I? You make two people out of one. That could be a copy machine or... Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, 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 the mirror. Three. You are correct. Oh, wow. for real? Yep. Wow, I guess that was... Yeah! Okay. Kelly, who was the first African-American and Native American woman to hold a pilot license? A pilot license? Um, yep. Um, Three. Two. One. I, I, All right. Yeah. That yeah. is incorrect. Young yes. Josh. Yes, ma'am. Who was the first African-American and Native American woman to hold a pilot license? Uh, 
Bessie, Betty Bessie, Coleman, something like that. Bessie Coleman. Three. How you know that? Two. One. All right. <laughs> what in the world? Yeah. That sounds like three to me, baby. You uh-huh. ain't got to count it up. Uh-huh. That's two. Uh-huh. That's three. All right. I'm sorry, Kelly. You are not the winner. Unfortunately, Young Jock won today. You will not be receiving this $50 gift card courtesy of Attorney Adana. But, Kelly, I do want to shout you out, though. Shout out to Louisville. All my people, my cousins out that way, yeah. You got any shout outs? Kelly. Kelly's up. Kelly's up. Um, I want to shout out my son. You know, he just turned six years old the other day. Woo woo. I want to shout out my mama and I want to shout out all my coworkers and that's it. That was up, man. Shout out to y'all, man. We appreciate you. Thank you for playing. Are you smarter than Young Jock? Even though you ain't. Bum, bum, ba da, bum. Hey, sad. Young Jock in the streets morning. Take over. Listen, Miss Shanika and Shout out Shout mm-hmm. I just saw a write up on me yesterday. It says, I give pretty good. Relationship advice. Um, and I want to continue doing that. Mm-hmm. I like when y'all help me sometimes on the, on the relationship side of things. Because y'all be speaking facts and I appreciate y'all. So to any of our listeners this morning that need some good relationship advice from the Love Doc Jock, it will be the Love Doc Jock, the Love Doc Shanika, and the Love Doc Shouty will be joining me as well. Because they have some very definitive points as well that I think can help you in your journey to happiness and a successful relationship. Okay? one 866 Again, that number is one 866 Keep it locked. Young Jock in the streets more than take over. Miss Shanika. Yep. Got word on the streets news coming up. Keep it locked. Hey. Word on the streets going down like Jock said. It's Young Jock in the streets more than take over. With Miss That's Shanika. right. Hey, thank God it's Friday. It's a F it Friday. F it means forget about it. What up, Miss Shanika? Okie dokie. So let's get inside this word on the streets news. First and foremost, if you guys have not heard, Ara Kelly has been sentenced to 20 more years in prison. The Grammy Award winning singer songwriter sentenced to 20 years for child pornography and enticing a minor, a case possible after victims came forward. A federal judge issued the sentence after hearing from three of Kelly's victims. An attorney representing the woman known as Jane read her statement. During the trial, jurors saw three videos of Jane, then a teenager, and Kelly involved in sexual activity. I think it's very clear that there have been multiple victims associated with R. Kelly. And when you deal with minor children, I don't think anyone is going to draw a conclusion that a child in any way could have brought this on themselves. Definitely give him all of his time. Uh, Moving right along, Rihanna's Super Bowl, oops, big game halftime show performance reportedly has received over 100 FCC complaints for being too sexual. Now, as we know, Rihanna didn't even do the butterfly good. She didn't even lift that leg up and do the dog good. How the hell was she too over-sexualized and all she had on was a little bustier and a jumpsuit? Because they were saying that she was the egg and all them people in the white was ASAP Rocky's team of scene. Yeah. That what they said? Yeah, that's what it looked like. Wow, she was the egg and about to be fertilized. Yeah, when they turned around and did the booty grab and, and, and did the rump rump and then did the thrust and the gyrate, that was the problem. But it wasn't that. Shy, somebody was looking at the wrong performance somewhere because <laughs> that definitely wasn't it. Leave this woman alone. Let her be. Yes, moving right along. Let's talk about this right here. Boosie is opening up about accepting his daughter after she came out being a lesbian. Our family is a real Southern Baptist family. So I have got a respect for her family and, and everything for what she does. Her coming out at this age is, that's when you know what you want. You know, we're going to love her to death. But at the same time, our Southern family, it, it, it's never been that way. You know, it's never been accepted. It's never, we got our preacher, grandfather, grandmother. But at the same time, she grown. She can do what the hell she wants. Now, y'all, did y'all see the back and forth going on between Suki, Slim Jimmy from Ray Schremer, and the baby baba. Mm-hmm. The baby mama who back some time, he knocked her front tooth out. Uh-huh. Yeah, so they had been going Allegedly. back and forth. No. 
knocked her tooth out. Uh, <laughs> and so he was trying to get his family back together. And he even sought like couples counseling for sleeping around with other women or what have you. Long story short, Suki posted a picture of those two together, Slim Jimmy and her, and said, ask him how much he paid to get my hair done. Mm. Well, the baby mother put her on blast and was like, yo, he was just in my stories trying to be a family. Long story short, she said, well, he's going to, oh, she, Suki posted a picture and said, girl, my tooth already out. And it was a picture of one of her front teeth missing. And I'm like, Suki, are you serious? So basically saying I'm good in the relationship. He ain't got to knock my tooth out. It's already out. Mm -hmm. And the baby mom had a comment for her. And long story short, Suki said people don't want to claim their baby daddy until they see them with her. Suki, wow, we got to be more careful. Okay, you cannot be with people that's knocking out uh, toothies mm. and stuff. Okay, mm. all right, I know it's teeth or tooth. Thank you. Uh, that is the word on the streets that's news. I'm Miss Shanika. You guys can follow me at Miss Shanika and follow us at Streets Morning Takeover. Thank you, Miss Shanika. Get your friend Suki. Oh, uh, Suki, you gonna be all right, baby. You gonna be all right. Hey, man, it's time for the Love Doc Jock one eight six six Y U N G J O C. That number is one eight six six nine eight six four five six two. Call us up. It's about that time for the Love Doc Jock. Help me help you help okay. me. Okay, come on. What's your problem? And this guy will either help or hinder your relationship. Who do I think I am? Why I tell people that? Either way, he's a man for the job. It's Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Your own live with the Love Doc Jock. How may I help you? Yeah, man. My uh, old lady, man, she don't never want to do it no more. And I've been trying to figure out what it is. I'm like, I'm making things happen and I, I don't know. Well, let me ask you a it's question. What's, what's the age bracket right now? Uh, she's 37. 37. Okay. Uh, any trauma? Anything has happened lately in y'all lives? Uh, not anything drastic. Nah. Okay. Uh-huh. Let me ask you a question. You got your go-to position? What you mean? What's your protocol? Is it the same thing? Is it, shoot, girl, come over here, rub on me, get me ready? Or is it, all right, let me do this, and then I'm going to do you have a routine? I try to change it up, man. I, I try to do something different. I try to go about it another way. I'm always initiating it, but it just ain't flying. Okay. Well, that's a, that's a very good possibility. I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say it with everything put on the table. There's a good possibility. There's a good possibility that she ain't feeling you no more. There's a good possibility she's going through feminine things where she's losing her desire to be sexual. There's a good possibility she may be into women now. There's a good possibility she may be entertaining somebody else. There's a good possibility you're the man for her, but she don't know how to tell you that she's interested in something else. You know, it's a lot of factors you got to try to take. And that's why I said, is there any trauma, anything that could be weighing heavy on the heart that is just take out the mood? I got you. Don't take it from a negative approach. This is one of the things you got to sit on and just have a conversation about. You, you got to say, hey, write on this paper what it is you want me to do to fulfill you sexually in our relationship. And once she give you that, you go by the protocol. Now, if that ain't working, then someone that y'all gonna have to have that come to Jesus meeting and sit down and talk about it. Real talk. All right. It's time for Small Business Spotlight, giving back to the community with Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Hey, what's up? This is Miley. I want to give a shout out to my wifey business, Navi Neve Salon. You can check out on Instagram at N A V I Y N E V A. She has a hair salon. She's the best in the business. Y'all come check out. She will get that hair slayed. And every morning, I listen to Young Jock in the Streets Morning Takeover. Young Jock in the streets morning and take over. Shout out to Miss Shot Nigga. Shout out to Shout out Shout for being some real ones. I'm talking about some day ones right here. Checking in, man. Shout out to all our markets, man. Good. Shout you got anything you want to talk about? Hey, man. Man, we're going to have a whole lot of fun. We're going to do some shows. And hey, please don't forget to get with your family. Watch my new movie. Can't get right on TV. That's all I'm asking. And it's free. How about it's that? Free. Front row tickets for free. And we also have another movie on B Plus called Under It's Hit. Influence. Yes. Starting Mud Shumper. And we also have another movie tonight. Starring Miss Shanika. Yeah. Yes, I will be in the ATL at the Boogaloo. All right. So if you want to come get your party on, ladies free all night long. It's definitely going up. So come check me out. And shout out to my girl Soraya, man. Hey, Soraya, when I tell you a breath of fresh air, just good energy. Yes, Soraya. Love the new record, Soraya. She gonna let you know, say that name right. Don't be talking about no Soraya, Saria, Soray. Soraya. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's love, man. We catch y'all next go round. We catch you on that Money Making Monday. Make sure you stick around for more. Young Jock in the streets morning. Take over.